If you plan on staying for a longer period of time and reside in New Zealand, you need to apply for a long stay visa that leads to residence. Hello, everyone. Today, we're discussing the easiest countries to relocate to in 2024. Before we dive in, let me remind you that the opinions and experiences shared today might not represent all individuals and should not be taken as professional advice. So let's delve into the easiest countries to relocate to in 2024. Number 1. Costa Rica. This indeed remarkable country has gained widespread recognition for its exceptionally friendly and warm-hearted people. The consistent stability of its economy, and the awe-inspiring beauty of its natural environment. Moreover, it serves as an ideal destination for individuals seeking a beautiful and serene place to establish their new home. And indulge in a peaceful retirement lifestyle. Costa Rica is a popular destination for expats and digital nomads, offering a unique blend of natural beauty, relaxed lifestyle, and modern amenities. What are some key considerations for relocating to Costa Rica? Visa requirements, research the various visa options, including tourist, retirement, and work visas. Some visas require proof of income or investment. Cost of living. Costa Rica has a lower cost of living compared to many countries, but prices vary depending on the region and lifestyle. For housing, explore different areas, such as San Jose, Tamarindo, or Puerto Viejo, and consider factors like proximity to amenities, climate, and safety. Healthcare. Costa Rica has a well-regarded public healthcare system, and many medical facilities cater to expats. What is the common language? While many locals speak some English, learning Spanish will enhance your experience and interactions. How about the culture? Costa Rica has a laid-back, eco-friendly culture, and adapting to the local pace and customs will help you integrate. What are the job opportunities? If you plan to work, research the job market, and consider freelancing or remote work options. Transportation. Costa Rica has a well-developed transportation network, including buses and shuttles, but owning a car can be convenient. Education. If you have children, research schools and education options, including international schools and homeschooling. Community. You will need to join expat groups and online forums to connect with others and build a support network. Remember to research thoroughly, plan carefully, and be flexible as you navigate the process of relocating to Costa Rica. 2. Portugal. An exceptional culture, Portugal offers an incredibly low cost of living, and a warm and welcoming climate to its inhabitants. The country is not only part of the European Union but also a member of the Schengen area, making it easier for travelers to traverse Europe without the need for additional visas or customs checks. Some key points to consider when relocating to Portugal. First, the visa requirements. A temporary stay visa is required for stays of more than 90 days. A residency visa is required for stays longer than one year. Popular visas for British nationals include the Portugal D7 visa, also known as the retirement visa or passive income visa. How about taxes? Portuguese residents must pay tax on all income earned within the country. Non-habitual resident status can provide a 10% flat tax rate on foreign pension income for those moving from the UK to Portugal. Opening a bank account. A Portuguese bank account is required for buying a property or renting an apartment. Documents needed to open an account include a valid photo ID, proof of address, proof of employment, and the tax identification number. The euro is the official currency of Portugal. It is the second most traded currency in the world. Cost of moving and living in Portugal. 
shipping costs are relatively low due to Portugal's proximity to the UK. The cost of living in Portugal is generally lower than in many large cities in the US. Let's talk about the healthcare. Portugal's healthcare system is state-funded and known as the Cervico National de Sord. Residents in Portugal have the right to register for state healthcare. Short-term visitors do not qualify for public health insurance and should seek private health insurance. Income taxes. Residents in Portugal are taxed on their worldwide income at progressive rates. Non-habitual residency tax codes allow expats to enjoy an income tax on Portuguese earnings at a flat rate of 20%. Number 3. Thailand. Thailand widely recognized for its remarkable tropical climate, delectable food, and warm and highly hospitable people. Thailand serves as an incredibly enticing destination for both digital nomads and expats alike who are in search of a laid-back, vacation-like experience that is sure to satisfy their desires. So what are the things to consider when relocating to Thailand? Let consider some questions and answers to better satisfy your curiosity. Can a US or Canadian citizen move to Thailand? US and Canadian citizens who meet certain requirements and go through the proper immigration channels can move to Thailand. What are the requirements to move to Thailand? Normally, the non-immigrant Thailand visa is good for 90 days. Before the visa expires, you'll need to visit a Thai immigration office to apply for an extension. Most North Americans who move to Thailand enter the country as tourists or with non-immigrant visas. How do you get a visa for moving to Thailand? To get a business, education, marriage, retirement, or other visa to move to Thailand, you will have to visit a Thai embassy or consulate office in the US or Canada. Does Thailand offer digital nomad visas? A digital nomad visa is a visa that makes it possible to relocate to another country and continue to work remotely for your employer. Thailand announced a new one-year remote work visa program with a low tax rate in August 2022. How much monthly income do you need to live in Thailand? The monthly income needed to live comfortably in Thailand depends on where you live. Urban centers tend to cost more than suburbs and rural areas. Is there a U.S. embassy in Thailand? The U.S. and Canada maintain embassies in Bangkok and have consulate offices in Chiang Mai. Canadians can also receive assistance at the Australian Consulate General Office in Phuket. Is Thailand a good place for North American expats? U.S. News & World Report rates Thailand as the 29th best country in the world to live in. Ample opportunities for recreation and work and a good standard of living make the country an appealing place for North American expats to relocate. How safe is it to live in Thailand? The U.S. State Department advises employing normal safety precautions when traveling in most parts of Thailand because crime rates are not especially high. What is the cost of living like in Thailand? Generally, the cost of living in Thailand is lower than in the US and Canada. What is the education system like in Thailand? Thailand has a stronger education system than many of the countries that share its borders. It ranked 44th for education in the US News and World Report's list of the best countries for education. What is the healthcare system like in Thailand? Thailand has a robust healthcare system that ranked 83rd on the CEO World Magazine Healthcare Index. What is the climate or weather like in Thailand? Thailand has a tropical climate with a rainy monsoon season that begins in May and lasts through October. What is the quality of life in Thailand? Economic inequality is high in Thailand, so quality of life varies dramatically depending on socio-economic status. Overall, Thailand ranked 60th on the 2023 World Happiness Index. Can I get a driver's license in Thailand? Foreign expats can choose to drive in Thailand. You'll need to get a Thai driver's license to do so. Is it easy for Americans and Canadians to find a job in Thailand? Unemployment is very low in Thailand. During the first quarter of 2022, the unemployment rate was only 1.53%.
Workers are in demand in many industries, so it is relatively easy to find businesses looking to hire immigrants. 4. Canada Canada offering a plentiful supply of job prospects and a remarkable quality of life. Canada has rapidly become a highly sought-after destination for both individuals choosing to immigrate and international students hailing from various parts of the globe. Additionally, it happens to be blessed with some of the most exceptional universities on the planet, truly making it a top destination for higher education. There are several ways to relocate to Canada, including Express Entry Program this is Canada's fastest and most popular immigration program, which allows immigrants to live and work in Canada as skilled workers. Family Class Sponsorship Families in Canada can sponsor their relatives to come to Canada permanently. Another path to move to Canada is through LMIA Work Visa. Many applicants for Canadian immigration first get Canadian job offers, apply for a work visa, and then on that basis, immigrate to Canada. The provincial nominee programs the PNP route is becoming an increasingly popular way to immigrate to Canada. Canadian provinces have developed their own immigration programs that often lead to a fast-track process. Canadian Investor Immigration The investor category is designed for high net worth individuals who have owned or managed businesses overseas. If you are interested in learning about every possible way to immigrate, you can visit the Canadian Visa Immigration page. 5. New Zealand with its incredibly stunning natural beauty, top-notch high-quality healthcare system, and welcoming friendly locals. New Zealand presents itself as an absolutely appealing and exceptional option for those individuals seeking a spontaneous change of scenery and lifestyle. Here are some tips for relocating to New Zealand. Do I need to obtain a visa to move to New Zealand? If you plan on staying for a longer period of time and reside in New Zealand, you need to apply for a long-stay visa that leads to residence. If you are visiting New Zealand for short trips, there is a likelihood that you will not need a visa. This depends on your country of residence make sure to check with the corresponding embassy or consulate. How do I move to New Zealand? Moving to New Zealand to work, to be allowed to live in New Zealand indefinitely or for a period longer than 12 months, one year, you need to apply for a work visa. New Zealand issues over 80 different types of visas that allow you to work in New Zealand. Moving to New Zealand to study. If you want to move to New Zealand to pursue your studies for longer than three months, you will need a student visa. Moving to New Zealand for family reunification. Non-citizens who want to bring or join family members in New Zealand can do so by applying for a New Zealand family visa. Moving to New Zealand to invest. New Zealand has a range of investment visas that allow you to live there permanently by investing in the country. Moving to New Zealand for retirement. If you want to move to New Zealand to continue your retirement, you will need to apply for a New Zealand retirement visa. Remember that each country has its own set of requirements for relocation or immigration, so do your research before making any decisions. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this one. Until next time.